Good morning, Dr. Phil here. Today we'll be discussing on the NCE POD classification of intervention. Introduction This classification came into effect in December 2004. Interventions are classified as either immediate, urgent, expedited, or elective. These have been drawn up with the help of surgical specialist societies, the British Cardiac Society, and the Royal College of Radiologists. Classification of the urgency of the patient's intervention helps to improve day-to-day -day communications, to inform clinicians and managers responsible for preparing procedure lists and allocating theatres on the day, patient experience, to check that patients are operated on within the time frame appropriate for their condition, clinical governance, to check that medical staff are operating out of hours only when it is appropriate, Organization and planning. To review the allocation of types of patient to types of theatre sessions in order to take appropriate corrective action within the current organization of surgical, radiological, cardiological services and to aid further development of these services. The consultant who will perform the intervention should assign the category. This should be done at the time of the decision to operate and when the theatre is booked. Correct classification needs to be supplied to the theatre coordinator when the patient is booked so that an appropriate priority can be assigned to the case. The classification should be recorded in the theatre management system and the patient's case notes. Limitations of the NCE POD classification of intervention This classification does not describe the type of theatre session in which the intervention is performed. Managers need to be able to monitor data and detect instances of immediate or urgent cases being operated on in routine elective theatre sessions. Classification of the procedure will be inaccurate if the intervention is classified as elective just because it's on an elective list. The same operation could be undertaken on patients falling into all four of the categories. It is not possible to group operations within a category to make it easy for allocation. For example, hemicolectomy may be immediate for life-threatening GI bleed, urgent for perforated large bowel, expedited for developing large bowel obstruction, or elective for resection of non-obstructing carcinoma. A splenectomy may be immediate for life-threatening traumatic bleed, urgent for ongoing bleeding post-splenic injury, or elective for malignant or hematological disease. This classification excludes caesarean sections. The NCE POD classification is not immediately applicable to caesarean sections. The RCOG 2010 guidelines classify caesarean sections as category 1, 2, 3, or 4. C section is classified as category 1 when there is immediate threat to life of mother or fetus, maternal or fetal compromise is present. C section is classified as category 2 when there is no immediate threat to life of the woman or the fetus, however maternal or fetal compromise is present. C-section is category 3 if the mother requires early delivery, there is no maternal or fetal compromise. C-section is categorized as category 4 when it is performed at the time to suit the woman and maternity services, there is no maternal or fetal compromise. Once a decision to deliver has been made, Delivery should be carried out with an urgency appropriate to the risk to the baby and the safety of the mother. Units should strive to design guidelines that result in the shortest safely achievable decision to delivery interval. The NCE POD classification of intervention has four categories. The first category is immediate. Code 1. Description. For life-saving intervention or limb or organ-saving intervention, resuscitation is simultaneous with surgical treatment. Target time to theatre, within minutes of decision to operate. Expected location, the next available operating theatre, break into existing list if required. Example scenarios, ruptured aortic aneurysm, major trauma to abdomen or thorax, fracture with major neurovascular deficit, compartment syndrome, acute MI. Typical procedures, repair of ruptured aortic aneurysm, laparotomy or thoracotomy for control of hemorrhage, fasciotomy or coronary angioplasty. The second category is urgent. Code 2. Description. 
intervention for acute onset or deterioration of conditions that threaten life, limb or organ survival, fixation of fractures, and for relief of distressing symptoms, target time to theatre within hours of decision to operate, and normally once resuscitation is completed. Expected location, daytime emergency list, or out-of-hours emergency theatre. Example scenarios include compound fracture, perforated bowel with peritonitis, critical organ or limb ischemia, acute coronary syndromes, and perforating eye injuries. Typical procedures, debridement plus fixation of fractures, apparatomy for perforation, and coronary angioplasty. The third category is expedited. Code is 3. Description. Stable patient requiring early intervention for a condition that is not an immediate threat to life, limb, or organ survival. Target time to theatre within days of decision to operate. Expected location, elective list which has spare capacity or daytime emergency list not at night. Example scenarios, tendon and nerve injuries, stable and non-septic patients for a wide range of surgical procedures, retinal detachment. Typical procedures, repair of tendon and nerve injuries, excision of tumour with potential to bleed or obstruct, coronary angioplasty. The fourth category is elective, code 4, description, surgical procedure planned or booked in advance of routine admission to hospital, target time to theatre, plan, timing to suit patient, hospital and staff, expected location, elective theatre list booked and planned prior to admission, example scenarios, encompasses all conditions not classified as immediate, urgent or expedited, typical procedures includes elective AAA repair, laparoscopic cholecystectomy, varicose vein surgery, joint replacement, coronary angioplasty. These are my references. Thank you.